Welcome to the presentation of the Q4 numbers of Hyperport here at uh, CityLMA. As you may be aware of, we are reporting from now on in three segments, the mortgage business in our real estate and mortgage platform, insurance you know already, and all the other credit industry digitalization in the financing platform. Mortgage platform is the whole value chain from sales via the mortgage process to the valuation. You are aware of this, I'm sure. What happened here recently in the Q4? First of all, the major change was a declining interest rate. Whole quarter until Christmas, you can say. Nothing that influenced our Q4 numbers, but it intensified the interest of consumers heavily. And so we saw a massive increase in mortgage interest on the platform. Transactions started to come in just close to Christmas and it was something that we could follow in the January and February numbers. And you will see this in our Q1 numbers. This changed the activity level here in Germany in the mortgage market significant. So after a long period of, let's say, a stagnating, depressed environment, the mood changed here. What changed as well is we still saw declining property values. It trickled down a couple of percent over the year and a good percent in the last quarter as well. So the gap between the price of a property and the monthly rate a consumer has to pay closed during Q4 significant. Still, there are a lot of properties on the market, something which is healthy for the near-time future. But you see there's been already a cap, and I think there's a significant amount of properties still which will come to the market because on both sides, they were piling up interests so or buying and selling interests. So something that will power the development in the next quarters. And what most power brings us is the rental market is dead in Germany. Fourth quarter was the lowest numbers in available renting space on online platforms. We have a historic low fluctuation because of the whole rent regulation. And what we see now is traditional the renting market, especially in the metropolitan areas, needs to be transformed to a home ownership market because of the lack of interest and return a landlord is able to achieve under the current rent regulation regime. And there is no party here in, in Germany who may change this. We are looking on the transaction numbers, the real reported by Bundesbank. The fourth quarter was still low. Actually, 6% below fourth quarter in 2022. But let's say from our perspective and taking into account that there was Christmas in line with a slow and steady bottom building, you can say, uh, during the year. How we performed in this market, your pace plus 8% in total. Our own franchise network plus 10%. You see the outperformance and even stronger, the savings banks and cooperative banking industry, where we see, again, double-digit growth here, even when market is still under stress. Take into consideration that our largest partner, Deutsche Bank, still struggles with a huge migration they did in the second quarter last year, and they are not back to normal in their operation. So our plus eight is affected by their internal challenges that, that they are still facing. So without them, it would look even more promising. Okay, total for the segment, revenue on the same level because even increased transaction volumes monetizes a couple of months later for us. So revenue to climb up starting Q1, same with gross profit. Profitability, thanks to a cost-saving program, which we initiated end of 2022, slightly up. Uh, just be aware of this in the valuation business. Let's say have face our special challenges with uh, regulatory changes, market uh, volatility, something that needs to be worked out and where we heavily spend uh, one-offs, especially during the last quarter. Okay, next segment, financing platform, everything we do to digitalize the credit industry here in Germany, uh, including the social housing sector, German Mittelstand, corporate finance, and personal loan business. They all saw a seasonal, very good fourth quarter, even when they struggled during the year and have challenging market environment in general. But this segment provided double-digit growth, top and bottom line. So a good start, or let's say, or a good end of 2023 and a good start for 2024 here for this segment. Yeah, and insurance, you are aware of this. For a long time, we invested here heavily. 2023 was the first year where we turned profitable and especially with a very solid last quarter, 1.4 million up. We see a strong growth, especially in the employer-linked uh, pension schemes here. A lot of new large clients could be signed up, which will deliver double-digit growth in uh, 2024. And together with them, we see an acceleration in the growth speed for this sector now when it turned profitable and is able to grow from this point on. So beside turbulent market environment and recent recovery, we have a strong focus on managing our cost base. 
So that was heavy fitness program in the end of 2022. And we, let's say, kept uh, our focus there and uh, make sure that our spending stays low, even when there is a certain level of inflation pressure, uh, which we need to handle. But we say 35 million compared to uh, Q3 2022 uh, with all what we did by now. In total, and I guide your focus to this 1.3 million EBIT in 2023, we stayed slightly profitable. Thanks to a lot of one-offs, the reported EBIT is even 30 million. And our, thanks to certain tax issues, our reported profitability after tax is even higher. So we managed to stay profitable. This was the goal. We kept investing, especially in the mortgage environment and the platforms there to achieve an outperformance of the market for the near time future. Because let's say quality of growth, taking market share in the depressed market environment, and we want to, as soon as possible, grow back to all highs. This is what we are doing. Climbing to back to alt highs, we see that Q1 will be the first significant uplift in the market, and uh, we will profit from this. It's still difficult to predict how many quarters it will take to get to, a, to back to a normal, so normal somewhere around 70 billion. Midterm, we see that thanks to the underlying dynamics, especially the depth of the renting market for middle class households, we see a total market volume of 75 to 100 billion per quarter here in Germany because we have a huge renting market, 58% of Germans still rent, which needs to shift to home ownership because of a lack of interest from the side of landlords to still continue this kind of business. For next year, expect us to be somewhere above 400 million in revenue and uh, generate an EBIT between 10 and uh, 20 million euro. So compared to this 1.3, which we reported for 2023. So it's a massive uplift in probability and most of uplift goes to profitability as well. This range is reflected in the market expectation of something between 175 and uh, 200 billion for this year. We are coming from 280 billion in 2021. So you see this is still, let's say, a first step in normalization. For more, check out our detailed reporting of 2023 and especially the forecast, which we give in our annual general report. Thank you.